Welcome to the Beauty Bar, where we tend to beautiful people just like you. We're your hosts, Joan and Stephanie, and we want to make sure that you're not only treating your face, but most importantly, yourself right. Yes, but before we get into this episode, we wanted to let you guys know that this is our very first <laughs> sponsored episode. Oh, Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Yay! Oh, With yeah. Dr. Money. Jart, as you guys can see, but more on that later. And actually, this is the last episode of season one. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Aww, background music. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone who has been watching and listening so far these past 12 episodes. I can't believe we already filmed 12 episodes. That's crazy. Yeah. But we're going to take the time to revamp, make it better, bigger, and we'll see you in season two. Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's hurry up and introduce our very special guest, <laughs> Edward very Avila. Special. <laughs> very special. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has been a moment we have all been waiting for. The divers have requested for you I since was, the moment we started this podcast. I was waiting for it. I was like, wow, they're real quiet. <laughs> waiting by the phone. Real quiet. <laughs> T is every time I go, Edward, how are you? Let's hang out. Takes him a while to respond. But then Ask when anybody I anybody that's me in general. Yeah, yeah. It is him in general. But then when I said, Hey Eddie, do you want to be part of our podcast? Within five minutes, uh, he was like, Yeah. It was still like a day. <laughs> no, it was still you, like a no, 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 no. You responded a lot quicker than you usually would though. And I was like, oh, he really wants to. Because I was be like, here. if I say Aww. no, this is gonna really hate me, so I guess I'll just do it. <laughs> uh. Oh man, this is gonna be a wild episode. I just know it. <laughs> I hope y'all heard. I'm like, I'm terrified. Why? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> because all of people are like scared of me, but I'm like. People are scared of you? Yeah, kind of, because Why? they think I'm so sassy, but I'm, I'm not that sassy. He's pretty sassy. <laughs> we will find out we'll during this episode. We'll yeah. It's gonna be a long 45 minutes. <laughs> all right, if there's anything skincare related that you want us to discuss in future episodes, please let us know on our socials at The Dive Studios. And we ask you to follow this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Yes, and make sure you leave a review on Apple Podcasts with a five-star rating so more people can know about our show and get these insider tips. Ooh. Yeah. Before we begin, Eddie. Yep. How are you? Um, <laughs> losing sleep, uh, stressed, <laughs> bloated, but I'm all right. That, that's good. How's your skin? <laughs> My skin was perfect up until she was like, hey… Do you want to be on my, my podcast? Like literally the next day, like everything. Oh, that was no. awesome. And everything. then I was like, "Come barefaced." Come barefaced. <laughs> They're literally coming for my career. They're like, "Hey, do you want to be our our, our beauty podcast, barefaced?" I was like, I it's all good. You look good. Yeah. I also have a unicorn horn today, and like, I, I look super red today. <laughs> I have one pimple. It's okay. <laughs> okay well, yeah, but hey guys, you guys are finally seeing our bare face after 12 episodes. We're finally showing you guys our real faces. This is the truth. <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> on the podcast. On, on, yeah, on, on the video, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If people want to watch. So you should probably just watch or just listen to this episode on the podcast. Yeah, please. I don't know if you want to watch it. No. <laughs> no, um, you guys look beautiful. You look beautiful. I woke up at 3 a.m. last night. And you haven't slept I since? I thought there was a ghost in our apartment. Oh, no. And I woke up. <laughs> and you haven't slept since? I did for like a few hours, mm. but not too much. Because I heard the door open. I thought it was my fiancé coming home. But then he didn't. Girl, I would like, burn that house down now. I would burn it down now. To get fiancé, just saying. That's, um, yeah, I always say boyfriend. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I, I saw that on your podcast. You go, fiancé in there. Boyfriend, boyfriend. Always boyfriend. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. So you're good though. You're I'm, not afraid. No ghosts. No, no, not what no I. Poltergeists. That's scary, though. I'm scared of ghosts. Oh. Me too. <laughs> I'm ten. Eddie, what have you been working on? Some projects you have coming? Literally, just or? my YouTube. Really? Yeah. yeah. I have like one other project I'm working on, but that's still like in the early stages. But literally, just my YouTube channel. That's yeah. like my main focus. And the way I edit my videos takes me so long. 
And the thing is, I get so kitchen. Yeah. So I'll edit for five minutes and then rest for three hours. Yeah. yeah. I'll get what I'll like five minutes of working, but wow, I reward myself three hours of rest. <laughs> I'll just be playing video and games. And like 30 minutes is like you looking for memes to put into your videos, right? Stop trying to call me out, Jen. <laughs> I didn't ask you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, True but though. I respect your editing though. Because every time I watch it, it's so… Um, there's this chaotic energy going on. And it's a very… Like, there's like a certain rhythm yeah. that it has to have. It's like… <laughs> So 30 minutes go by so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that a lot. Yeah. That's the goal. That's, that's, Do you want to edit today's goal. episode? <laughs> oh my god. Oh honey. I don't think we can afford oh, that. <laughs> Once I do that, every episode's oh gonna have to be god. like that. <laughs> every episode. I mean, if it's a challenge you want to If take. y'all pay me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's 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 get back to um, the episode. Okay. Yep. Well, you guys probably know Edward from his YouTube channel. But also… You appear in each other's YouTube mm. channels, videos as well. Yeah. And you guys are, as you can tell, very sassy with each other. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> every time Eddie's around, the sass comes out. He brings this energy. I don't think I I'm sassy. But when I'm with you, it just like comes out. That's the one thing about me. The, I enjoy being with her in videos because there's a side of Joan that… because you. Not that she's like fake or anything, but there's a side of Joan that never really comes out in her own videos. So yeah, when I'm here, I will. A, a more you'll see a more natural, which I feel like the, her fans should see more often. She's, <laughs> she's very like I'm trying to be on brand, very on brand. Always. But I'm like, sis, get that shout. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, you know, I'm I'm nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, she's oh my god. I'm nervous today. too. Yeah, I can see no, but, this energy. <laughs> you're lucky I don't know you that not, that much. So <laughs> otherwise, both of y'all, your last episode, go, go for it. Last, last oh episode. my no gosh, more two. I think I'm red. Uh, oh my so. gosh, I'm red. All right, uh, yeah, but Eddie and I pretty much started YouTube around the same time. So in the beginning, we did film a lot of videos together and. Actually, we did talk about Dr. Jart in the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then um, I feel like right now our channels have evolved so much since yeah. then. Um, both our contents don't look the way it to. did. Um, wow. But She's not doing that daily I'm not doing, anymore. I, I'm not uploading every day That's anymore. crazy yeah. that you did that. Yeah. yeah. Editing takes so much time. Crazy I can't do that anymore. <laughs> the fact that you did it at all. I know. I was surprised. But yeah, it's great to have you here, Eddie. Thanks. <laughs> this episode is also Beauty Bar's first ever sponsored video. Ooh. So what? thank you. <laughs> he brings it out of me. I, I don't know what's going you. on. He it bring it comes out. It comes out. <laughs> okay, okay all right. My job. Yes. Um, thank you to the wonderful team at Dr. Jart for not just sponsoring this video, but wanting to help us help you get started on your skincare journey. Because actually a lot of people left comments, you know, where to start, what to use, and what order. Because it can be a little bit overwhelming. Mm. So I'm really excited that we're going to break it down today. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Jart is a clinical skincare Fun and approachable. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> they combine art and science to create effective products to deliver real results. But have you been… You've been to their store, Kadosuke, oh, right? have I? Kadosuke? Uh, I think yeah. I saw uh, yeah, a yeah. video yeah. with you. I uh, think I filmed at the Dr. Jart flagship store every time they changed change their the concept. concept. Mm. Because one, one of my favorites was when they were pushing for the Sika pair line. Mm -hmm. um, they had the entire store like a coloring book. So uh, they had um, colored pencils where you could just like color on the wall. Wow. And then they just always have the coolest… I really feel like beauty brands started to go off on their flagship themes after yeah. Dr. Char. They mm -hmm. do it so yeah. good. And that's why I love their brand concept. It is art but also the science yeah, behind yeah, it. Yeah. It's just such a, a cool combo. Mm. And it's always such an experience when you enter mm -hmm. the store. The prescription yeah. computer. Yeah. You can just talk about all of your… You could just share all your skincare concerns. Mm -hmm. And then they'll print out a long yeah. receipt mm -hmm. with a product that they recommend. Yeah. And you just give it to the Jiguan and yeah. they like pull them out for you. Yeah, it's so cool. I could talk about that flagship store like for a long time because mm. I feel like I always leave feeling inspired. Mm, yeah. yeah, they do a really good job. Yeah. yeah. Have you been there? 
I have. I have. I haven't been to their new design. Mm -hmm. Not super recently, but it's close to my house. It's currently Sika Pair Express. So they have this mailroom theme mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you can just order online and your order will be waiting in the conveyor belt. Uh, so it's so cool. That's so cute. Yeah. And they have like a little corner with like Dr. Jar boxes and duct tape where you can… Have experience. Oh, what it's like. To That's work. exactly what it is. It's like always an experience mm -hmm. going in there. Yeah. Uh, and you talk about the US or TikTok superstar Joan. Oh. <laughs> the sicker pair color correcting cream. Mm -hmm. It blew up on yeah. TikTok. Mm. It has it's like so millions fun. of views on it because mm. it's such a cool, weird product. What is it? This right here. I think we'll try it later. We'll try it later. It's a color correcting. So it's green mm. when you take it out of the, the little container uh -huh. and then mm -hmm. you put it on mm -hmm. and it makes your… It matches your skin color and yeah. it takes out the red. Mm -hmm. oh. It neutralizes with your skin. Mm -hmm. And so um, I actually use it every day on days where I don't, don't want to wear, wear makeup. Uh. Because I still want that SPF. Yep. But a little bit of coverage. Because mm. today… Yep. I. As you can see, I have redness, mm -hmm. but that product really helps uh, control that uh, and neutralize that. And so we'll talk more about it, guys. Yes. That one is the fun. I just love watching people freak out on TikTok. They're like, whoa! And you <laughs> think that's like the fun that you immediately see a result. You see it right away. And I think that's also why people really like it. Yeah. Mm. And it's not foundation. Oh, right, right, So right. it's cool. Yeah. Do you also have a 10-step… Skincare routine. Like it's, Joan. It's not 10 steps anymore. It's really? just… Yeah. I'm sorry. That's why I look like this and she looks <laughs> like that. Which is a good thing. Oh like, my gosh. No. no my mind is more like a four, five four step, step. Depending on the day. How about you, Steph? I don't know how many steps <laughs> it is. How about you, Steph? <laughs> how about you? <laughs> it's, it's like seven? I don't seven? know. That's good. Wow. It depends. Yeah. I mean… I definitely do no more at night time. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Is your morning routine a little bit different? Soak that in when I sleep. Uh, yeah. Morning, I feel like it has to be a quick and mm -hmm. get it going. Mm -hmm. And I don't have too much time. So I like it to keep it short and simple in the morning. And then at mm. nighttime, I'm like, let's fix it back up. Uh, yeah. I, see, I, see, I, see. Yeah. I would say I have a 7 to 8 on the daily. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. on days where I want to give my skin an extra boost. Like yeah. for example, like using <gasps> a sheet mask. It would be around 10 okay. because I would have more products to mm -hmm. follow up with. And so yeah, let's break down the skincare routine. Because in Dr. Jart has efficient and effective products. So mm -hmm. I noticed that a lot of their products are two-in-ones or uh, they're multitaskers. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love that. And what I also love, they have different lines. Mm -hmm. But you can also interchange them with each other, mm -hmm. which I really like. Yeah, yeah. So we will give you the full step-by-step -step routine. But throughout the whole thing, we'll give you kind of like little tips mm. on how you can either amp it up or take it down. Mm -hmm. Depending That's on good. your skin type. Right. So. Especially for beginners. It's good to have, you know, start from like a nice basic point And yeah. then you can always add here and there new things to your routine. And then, mm -hmm. you know, maximize it as much as you want. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we are going to be using all of the products in front of us today. This is so exciting. I'm really excited too. Is there one that you're really excited about? So I try? have tried every single product here mm. already. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess I'm excited to hype it up. Because I do love Dr. Jar products. Especially since when I started YouTube, this was the Korean brand that was available in the US market. First, I feel like it was the one that a lot of people knew about the most, right? Would you say that yeah. as well? Yeah, I was going to say mm -hmm. because uh, wasn't it one of the first K beauty brands to go In to Sephora? Yeah, Sephora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so. so a lot of people know about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so step one is cleanser. Mm -hmm. Yes, good job. The cleanser. Yay. <laughs> Didn't know this was a quiz. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here we have the Sika Pear Enzyme Foam Cleanser. Have you guys tried this product before? I have. And I heard especially the Sika Pear line is really good for sensitive and dry skin. Mm -hmm. Especially during winter time. Mm. Yeah. Sika in general. So Centella Asiatica is good for people who have acne prone skin. Mm -hmm. Because it's supposed to help treat the redness as well as acne. But it's also non-drying on the skin. Mm -hmm. Which is why… Really exactly what you yeah. said. Yeah. And I'm going to be using this product. I did cleanse my face in the morning but I have sunscreen on. So in order to do all of this again on my face… Mm -hmm. I'm going to be using the 
cleansing foam. So while I get ready, you guys could um, Talk crap discuss about Joan. a little bit. <laughs> wow. Okay. First, Joan puts water on her face. Yes. <laughs> First, wow. you want to um, apply this on damp face. Yeah, it's a for me usually with cleansing foam, I I damp my face first. Mm -hmm. If it was like a cleansing oil or something, I will put dry. But mm -hmm. because it's cleansing foam, wet. Yes. And I, one thing that's really important when it comes to cleansing foam is that you absolutely make sure you make the bubbles in your hands first mm -hmm. before you put it on your face. This is so smooth. Usually with foam cleansers, I'm not a fan because it feels so drying on the skin. Mm -hmm. But um, this one right here, again, Sika Pear, mm -hmm. is good for people who have dry skin as well. So I'm just going to apply this. You're so cute. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm so glad I don't have to be the one moving the camera back and forth. Because when I'm filming my skincare mm -hmm. routines, I am literally doing the directing. It is so hard to film in a bathroom. It really? It's like the hardest uh. thing. This is so easy. I'm so yeah. happy. <laughs> you do it very gently. Yeah, yeah you want to be gentle with the skin. You want to treat your skin right, guys. It's really important that you kind of let the cleanser do the work. Uh. Because kind of going too hard can actually make your skin worse. So it's important that you let the cleanser do its job and kind of massage. And then emulsify. So you want to wet your hands again to get more bubbles. That way you get that thorough cleansing done. Mm -hmm. All right. Very bubbly. Mm -hmm. yeah, I always make sure I get around the nose. Yeah. Inside the nose. Can, yeah, stuffing gets <laughs> really stuck here. I'm going to wash it off now. No. Wow. Charanda, charanda. There's a story behind uh, Centella Asiatica. Uh, the plant that it originally came from. Mm -hmm. Tigers, if they have like a wound on their body, yeah. they would rub their bodies against the plant to really? help heal their scars. Yeah. That's <sighs> how it became a thing. They're like, humans are like, we should do that too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that humans for everything? Like snails and all that? Yeah. Like, wow, this animal makes this thing. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's put it on our face. Yeah, right. <laughs> but wow, John, you're looking really… Fresh. Fresh. Glowy. Yeah. Thanks to Dr. Jart. <laughs> See, um, after cleansing, mm. I like to pat my skin dry. I don't like using a towel because… That stuff carries… Bacteria yeah. from mm. the bathroom. So I just like to pat it in. Mm -hmm. Nice. More moisture. All right. Shall we go on with the toner, guys? Yes, okay. You guys have been waiting for me all. We sure have, Joan. <laughs> the second step, which I, for me personally, I feel like is real, probably the most important part in terms of… Besides cleansing, mm -hmm. the part of the skincare is because it's the base. Mm -hmm. It's like the beginning of your whole routine. Mm -hmm. Toner… Now, toner can be kind of confusing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Why? Be because they, like, Sorry, there's, there's why? different kinds of toners. Oh, yeah. Some exfoliating. people think of like the old like yenna, like alcohol-laden like yeah. you know, mm -hmm. that our moms used. But My mom did not use alcohol toners. She used like the skin. <laughs> I think it's different for everyone to be honest, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But, um, they, but they've definitely developed over the years. Oh. Yes. And they're much better now. I feel like toner is the most underrated product mm. of a skincare routine. Really? I feel like that people, at least definitely me in the beginning, didn't pay a lot of attention to. The toner. Mm. But Just like moisturizer. Now, yeah. Like mm. I… For a long time, I didn't even use toner. But like now, I'm mm. like, oh, this is… Yeah. This is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll throw that in there. But <laughs> again, like when you start with a basic routine and yeah. then you're like, oh, what's this? A toner. Maybe I'll start using that too. Mm. And that's how you kind of build it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we have the toner, Ceramiden Liquid. Yes. Yep. I like the packaging. It's different. It's not different. It is. Is it? You don't see a lot of toners that look like this. Oh, I thought you oh. were saying this. I thought you were saying Joe, the you're trying to come for me right in front. <laughs> no, I thought. Oh my gosh. Because um, I thought it was like a moisturizer. A lotion. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, the, toner, the bottle yeah. definitely yeah, looks bottle. like yeah. a moisturizer yeah. or baby powder. Yeah, yeah. All right, oh. all right. Oh. Yeah. Baby powder bottle, but this is the Ceramiden Liquid Toner. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is such a moisturizing um, line mm -hmm. in Dr. Jar. So toner is great for especially after washing and cleansing your skin. Because all of that oil is going to get stripped off from the cleansing. So you mm -hmm. want to, you know, kind of balance the skin and prep it for the following products. Mm -hmm. Am I doing a good job, Eddie? The way I see toner, the way I explain <laughs> it to people usually, if you have like, All right. let's say you have a dry sponge, right? Yeah. But like, when you run it underwater, it takes a while for it to start absorbing water mm -hmm. because it's so dry. Yeah. Let's say if you just try to put like, if you're just putting moisturizer on top, 
your skin is in such a dry state that it can't absorb the moisturizer properly. Mm -hmm. So that's why you can think of toner as like the water that helps plump up the sponge first Mm. to help it absorb other products. (laughs) Wow. That's such a great way to explain it. Because when you apply the toner, it will… Again, like I was saying earlier, it's like a base for the rest of your products Mm -hmm. to help absorb. Because if you're just putting a product on top of dry skin, Mm -hmm. it takes a little more time and more product for it to absorb. That's why for me with toner, Mm -hmm. I tend to use a lot of toner. Yeah. And then everything afterwards, I only use a tiny pea size amount. Same here. I just applied two layers of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I apply toner like five to seven times. But it depends on what toner though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I love the Dr. Jart one is even after the first application, it still feels very moisturizing because it's a multitasker. So this Mm -hmm. is… I think this is a serum slash toner. Mm -hmm. So you get like benefits of both in one product. It feels very… Yeah, chok chok. Chok chok. Chok chok. Yeah. Bounce. Oh my gosh, I feel like my skin looks so healthy already. Yeah, bouncy. Right? Now there's two ways of applying toner, right? Yeah. The one we just did with just our hands. Mm -hmm. What's Hupsu. Hupsu. (laughs) Just like just petting into your skin. Yeah. But the way I tend to apply is I always use a cotton pad. Mm -hmm. Because at the same time, I I do like Uh, wiping away to like dust and stuff. Um, if you have severely dry skin and you can't mo- you can't cleanse every day, mm-hmm. you can always in the morning, especially if you don't have anything on your skin, you can just use toner on a cotton pad and kind of just wipe your face down. Oh, that's a yeah. really good tip. Great. Tip. I love that. So uh, there's two ways. So there's some people that can't handle if they have severely sensitive skin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the friction is too much. So mm-hmm. that w- that in that case, you can just use your hands. Yeah. On days where I want that full cleanse Mm -hmm. Uh, after double cleansing Mm -hmm. I follow up with the toner Mm -hmm. on a cotton Mm -hmm. pad and then reapply that same toner Mm -hmm. as a second layer. Oh. So much steps. Mm -hmm. If you have really oily skin as well sometimes especially if it's something like this you can totally just stop a toner in terms of moisture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But definitely if you have dry skin this is definitely important as a base. Yes. All right. It feels very good. Yeah. It doesn't feel because sometimes I feel like toner can feel a little bit drying. Mm-hmm. Especially this, the really watery thin ones. Yes. And this actually feels very, very nice. Yeah. I like it that it feels already moisturizing. Yeah. This uh, line, Ceramidin, is always pushed during the winter time mm-hmm. because it's uh, focusing on moisture, right? Mm-hmm. So when you walk by Karosuke during the winter time, the Dr. Jart flagship store is yellow. Mm. Yeah, with penguins. Remember the uh, yellow yeah. penguins? Yeah. I mean, it changes all the time. But I, I love walking in during the yellow months. My favorite is in the mm. summer when it's really hot. But Blue. They, but they always have like the, the mist. Yeah. Oh. That's like the one-stop shop for like if you're hot. You yeah, yeah, just go yeah. There and just, like, You'll just stand there uh, and cool down. Yeah. It reminds me of a… Universal Studios. They would have, <laughs> when they you would, wait in line. Yeah, yes. they have the, like the mist to help cool people down. Yeah. Love what you're doing, Dr. Jart. Thanks, Dr. Jart. All right. Step three, Stephanie. Um, step number three, we have the serum. Mm-hmm. Sikapair Tiger Grass Serum. Right here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And Eddie already pointed out the benefits of Tiger Grass. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited to try this one. At this point, after the cleansing and toning, mm-hmm. this is kind of where you want to put all your kind of effective ingredient, like yeah. effective skincare, that things that have like other functions besides right. just uh, moisturizing. Mm-hmm. So serums, like this yeah. one is for… I want to see how you put it on. <laughs> Let's see, honey. <laughs> okay. So I feel like you're doing it now. in a very okay. aesthetically pleasing way. <laughs> really? <laughs> so do you put it on your hand first or directly on your face? Um, It depends on like… Mm. The way I want to apply it that day is always different. But today, I'm just like feeling very handy. <laughs> if she's doing it for YouTube, she puts it on more pretty. And if yeah. it's just for by herself, young ma- That's, ma- okay. <laughs> That's very true. But yeah, what Eddie said, this is the step where you want to add on all of your skin boosters. Yeah. So serum, ample, essences. Whatever your main skin concern is, this is when you want to get that product that is highly concentrated in Mm -hmm. that ingredient. So for me, redness, I would be using a serum like the Sika Pear because it's going to really… What's that word? Treat my skin with a high concentration of that ingredient. So Mm -hmm. I love this serum. Because there are some brands where they'll… What they call it like a concept product where mm-hmm. they choose one of the ingredients as like the main star. Yeah. But they don't put that much of it yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this, I'm assuming they have like a high concentration of it in here. Mm-hmm. Right? 
But what I also but like about this product good. is that this the what do you what do you call this little contraption? The, the little this the dropper part mm-hmm. pushes out the right amount. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's some people that the ones where you have more free to put out as much. Yeah, they kind of just keep I putting, hate those ones. Yeah, and you're wait you're kind of wasting <laughs> product and like you don't need to put that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you put enough toner on before. Uh-huh. It'll take one, it will take longer, especially if you're gonna have a routine with a lot of steps. Mm-hmm. Adding more product is gonna make each like absorbing take a lot longer. Yeah. So if you're just using a small enough amount, mm-hmm. it's a lot faster. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I really miss talking about skincare with you. <laughs> Whenever we filmed skincare videos, it I mean, literally went on for like two hours. Yeah, and really. I would have to edit this long video. Yeah. And I'd be like, no, Eddie, why? Yeah, but it sorry. was always so good. That's. <laughs> I know I'm all jokes and sass, but like I do when it comes you, to skincare, you skincare. About I, skincare. I kind of talk about really in depth. You have the info. Actually, Eddie's the first person who ha- actually saw my sangar, so barefaced, um, ever like no, outside of my family somewhere. because he was the one that introduced me to my skincare clinic. So oh. I've been going there since like it's been like six years. I still go there. Yeah, I stopped going. I know why? Because <laughs> he's lazy. So tired of it. <laughs> he is. Oh, just keep shut um, up. but he was the first person to see my face fully no makeup, mm. and um. I don't know. Something about that past and memory is so like Trauma. special. <laughs> this is so mm. no, because back then I had terrible acne, and he's he knows. And this girl, do you, do you still talk about how you used to get injections to yeah. get rid of spots? I mean, I had to because that's what the dermatologist mm. recommended yeah. back then, episode two on Beauty Bar, I believe. Mm. Um, but now I know not yeah, to do that because it comes yeah. back later. Yeah. All right, so the next step would be a sheet mask. Treat yourself. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I feel like the mask is the one thing when people think of K-beauty, uh-huh. they think of the mask. Yeah, and it's also like the easiest souvenir to buy for your friends back at home, right? Definitely. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> you get a selfie if you buy a certain amount of buy stuff. Buy 10, get 10 free. Yeah. Oh, I love the Best mask. gifts. Yeah, so the sheet mask, you can do them every day, but… These days, I've become so lazy. I know. Like my steps have gone down just like by mm-hmm. two or three products. Um, but on days where I really want to treat myself or when I have a shoot the next day, mm-hmm. I will do a sheet, sheet mask. mask. Mm-hmm. Right. And we have a lot of options in front of us today from Dr. Jart. And they have a lot of viral products, uh-huh. I noticed. And this is one of them. This is Cryo Rubber Mask. Yes. The G-Dragon mask. G-Dragon mask. G-Dragon mask. Yeah, that uh, album that looked like this. Oh. On the front. That's why. It looks like a horror movie a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so depending on the color, we have Same. moisturizing mask for the blue. Yellow is brightening. Pink is firming. And this turquoise is soothing mask. And what's great mm. about these masks, they're actually latex free. Ah. And latex free? There are masks with latex in them? Yeah. Because it's oh. rubber. Ah, the rubber kind. The rubber no I rubber. See, I see. Mm. Was there always this little extra thing in there? Yeah. So you would apply the step one, the ample, and then apply the mask and leave it on for 40 minutes. Um, you could take it off earlier if you don't have time for it. But I love masks because it's the time where you mm-hmm. can relax and have talk. Mm-hmm. You know, chat time. I love that too. Mm. And then we also have these masks. What? Now here's the thing. What? Oh, wait, What's the thing? Oh, Keep yeah. going. Yeah. Go. Come oh, at me. Okay, bro. she wants to start now. All right. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead. And finish it. Okay, off. we'll finish off by mm. introducing this one. I'm worried. What are you gonna say? Uh, okay. She's like ready for something. <laughs> I know. Um, we also have the simple, mo- a more simple mask, which is the ceramide and facial barrier mask. These are just your usual sheet, right? sheet masks. Mm-hmm drenched in the That's goodness cool. of essence. And so I'm going to be using this one because okay. this is a lot easier. What about you guys? I want to try the one. rubber mask. Okay. Everyone's going to And these ones their- are these ones are specifically good for cold treatment at home. Mm. So they're mm. cooling and you guys know lowering the temperature of your face also has benefits yeah. to get the that product really mm-hmm. in there. Yeah, yeah. So this is what that helps with. Mm. And I heard if your skin goes up in temperature even 1 degree, mm-hmm. that's when uh, the issues start coming up. Yeah. You start breaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that. Mm-hmm. That's why you see some people putting uh, skincare in the fridge. Yeah, that's why a lot of people buy the 
skincare fridge. Do you have one? That I don't have. I just put it in my regular fridge. I don't have one too. <laughs> I have no. a regular fridge. So if you, you see, do? No, yeah, I'll too. have like kimchi and then sheet masks. <laughs> me too. Oh. Me too. <laughs> I love it. Do your, do your mask oh. smell like kimchi then? So funny. Because like our fridge sometimes will smell like kimchi. The, the, oh, the so packaging. Like I got used the to packaging. it. Yeah, when you open like one now. door. Oh, you like the smell of kimchi on your face? <laughs> Wait, what? That's the true Korean secret. Oh, is, okay. is the kimchi. All right. Is the on kimchi the mask? I uh, love kimchi. The kimchi slab. Oh. oh. Wait, oh, you're already… So, there's a separate little ampoule mm-hmm. that you apply to your face first. I chose the cryo rubber moisturizing mask. What did you choose? I think they're all called cryo rubber. You use firming mask. The firming mm-hmm. one. Ooh. Wait, wait. Oh, the moisture. I do moisturizing. Even though technically all masks are moisturizing <laughs> to some degree, aren't they? Yeah. What did you do? Oh. <laughs> Boy? What is this? I want to I'll explain. She's just slapping her face so with the mask. I am applying oh. the serum Ooh. on my face first. First. So that oh. the mask will stick onto my face. <laughs> ah, I see, <laughs> that I looks so funny. Come what on. I heard was… What did you you do? shouldn't leave sheet masks on for more than 20 minutes apparently because… Mm, mm, mm. The moisture that goes on your skin is going to get reabsorbed by the mask. Apparently. Right, right, right. But I thought, oh. I figured with this being rubber, yeah. it can't technically absorb. Mm-hmm. I the, figured. So I guess you can leave this on longer yeah. if you that want. That one you can leave on for longer. This one is like 15 to 20 minutes. But if I'm honest, what? I'll just leave it on until it's dry. Bro. Honestly, me. I'll be, because I'll, <laughs> I use them, I'll use them while I'm either while I'm what? editing or playing video games. Oh my God. And I, I do. Forget. I forget. Oh my gosh. Remember when we used to travel together? I would wear this on the plane. She would just come to my hotel room with, looking like this. I'm just like… <laughs> it looks Hello, amazing. <laughs> Knock yeah. on the door. Hi, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> with, her, with her vlog camera. Oh my gosh, remember? Just, and I heard your fiancé got into sheet masks because of you. He'd be like, can he, we sheet mask together? He does. And now we like do it together. Or we go on um, skin clinic dates together. Where we go together and do like some treatments. <laughs> Oh so Eddie God. just applied <laughs> the bottom horrifying. of the mask and it looks hilarious. Why are you making such strong eye contact he, with oh, me? <laughs> what? Wow, it looks so cool. Okay, honestly. I finally applied all the ampoule. ampoule? It's kind of nice. It's kind of like a… Cooling effect? Yeah, and it's a little bit thick. Mm. And Eddie, gel-like. Yeah, it feels really nice. The, feels nice. Yeah. yeah, it sticks really well. It looks like a clown. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that it, only, it comes with the top and bottom half. Mm. Yeah. So supposedly I'm... you're supposed to put the top on first. <laughs> oh. Or... <laughs> okay. But honestly, there really is no right or wrong way of applying skincare. Ooh. It's up to… It's up to you. Okay. I'm gonna… So this uh, rubber mask comes in two parts. There's the top part which covers your forehead, eyes, and nose. <laughs> and… <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I can't even look at you. <laughs> so funny. Okay, let's throw this on. <gasps> I have blue hair and you have the blue mask. You have pink hair. I have pink mask. <gasps> oh, blue mask. I feel like a twinning. superhero. <laughs> Super. You look so cute. How do you look cute in a sheet mask? What? This is not cute, Joe. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh when I do sheet masks because it slides down my face. <laughs> so before we started oh. the podcast, Stephanie was talking about how she cooked German food today. And I was like, oh yeah, Eddie. And she was like, Eddie what? And I was like, I'm going to save it for the podcast. So here we are. Like 20 minutes later. Um, Yeah, but Eddie grew up in Germany. Girl. (laughs) I lived there for like four years, but I grew up there. Grew up in Germany? (laughs) I went to high school there. Really? Yeah, he went to high school there. In uh, (laughs) Deutsch. No. I I, I took it for two years, but I forgot all of it. I lived in Kaiserschaffen. What? <laughs> That's what I mean. Kaiser K Town in Ramstein. Ah, the the city in mm. Ramstein. Oh, mm-hmm. also banned. Good. <laughs> Ramstein. I'm Rammstein. applying the red leftover products all over. Oh, banned. Oh, right, right, banned. I thought yeah. you said they're banned. Like the city's banned from something. I was like, <gasps> all right. So oh. love my sheet mask. I love the. I'm just like radiating heat. You can feel. I'm just so much more cool. Like it's definitely the cool. In here, yeah. yeah, the the mask that got warm. Yeah, oh, absorbed all my hotness. It's going to tap the product in. Uh, there's some people that do sheet masks at the very end of their skincare routine. Uh huh. I treat it like a serum. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so I always put it um before, like around the serum stage mm-hmm. before moisturizer. Right. I like. I do the same way. Yeah. 
because the, the form is kind of thin, right? Yeah. You don't, mm-hmm. you don't really see like moisturizer soaked sheet masks. Yeah. So I treat it like a serum. I mean, there are some creamier type of masks. So I could see how that can work too. But I recommend applying it after the serum step mm-hmm. so that you could double yeah, yeah. that skin boost. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is actually like more of a creamy mask. So I did uh, notice that, that it felt very moisturizing. But it uh, is from the Ceramide line. So I could see why. So Diane asked the question of do you wash your face after a sheet mask? What is your guys' answer? No. Yes. Really? So you waste more products, you have to buy it more. Oh, okay, yeah. So Dr. no. Dr. Jard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, you don't wash your face. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, what? No, you keep it. Just like I said, like you wouldn't… Yeah, no. It's not like a yeah. cleanse or anything. Mm. Yeah. It's not a wash-off pack or anything. Right. If it's a clay mask, you would want to wash it off. Could but you? sheet mask, you want to keep mask. that in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. So follow up with a moisturizer afterwards. Ooh. And we have a bunch of moisturizer options in front of us today. <gasps> We oh, have those some, are all moisturizers. Yeah. Yes. Ah. We have some morning ones and some nighttime ones. So yes. depending what time it is. So let's uh, introduce them. So here we have the Ceramidin Cream. This is a very moisturizing cream. So this is like a very lightweight um, cream. So I want you guys to feel all the moisturizers today. Thick. It's thick but it applies oh. so smoothly. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Very thin. It goes mm-hmm. on. Yeah, yeah, it like yeah. spreads very nicely. Oh my gosh. So moisturized. Look how moisturized my hand is now. Oh my gosh. Love it. Look. Can you tell? See the difference? Yeah. Wow. It looks very moisturized. I actually am guilty of not wearing hand cream that often. Really? Yeah. 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 It's okay. I do moisturize on my face. I always like put, put, put on hands. my hands. Yeah. The last time I'm like, mm, this will do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this is seriously one of like their best sellers. So what's this one? This one you talk about. Which is the one you use? Ceramidin. This is the Chica Pear one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So continue on from like the serum that we used. This is the cream version. Also similar with that texture. It's very… Um, mm. What is it? Thick it's and thick, but when you yeah. start blending it out, mm-hmm. it thins out. So oh, it doesn't it feel like… it smells so fresh oh. too. Mm. Oh, that one smells really good. Mm. It has that kind of like natural fresh. like herby fresh mm-hmm. kind of… Ooh, love that. It might herbally. be the, the tiger grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Diane's like, don't say that. She, <sighs> now let's see why you're both hosts. So <laughs> what, which one do you have right there? I have the Sicker Pear Calming Gel Cream. We're so, running out of places. So this irritated, <laughs> sensitive, and sensitized skin. So I'm assuming this is good for exactly what she just said. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. My type of my type of skin types. Mm. I like the gel like. Oh really? Creams because uh. I ha- again I have redness, mm-hmm. so I want to cool down. Ooh. Ah, the I see. I see. Oh, this is definitely gel. Yeah. Oh, it comes yeah. out a little bit. Almost I like, love this. It cream. almost has like the consistency of toothpaste. I feel like. Wait, what? Kuronga. <laughs> I feel like the first you have that. This one almost feels like those um, a thicker version of those aloe gel yes, things. Yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 but um, mm, it smells very. Uh, oh, it smells so good. Fresh as well, very herbally. Oh, I love this. I love this. I, I love this one. This is like my favorite. I've always been dehydrated, oily, but I like a good. Thick cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these are all morning mm-hmm. options. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and then for nighttime, never mind. And for nighttime, Sika. we also have the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Sleep Pear Intensive Mask. So these are like the leave in uh, masks. I love those. Oh. I'm just going to use the lid. Ooh. It's very gel. Here, do you want some? Here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ah, I love it. It's so very… Um, it glides onto the skin. <gasps> it again has a kind of like gel-like texture. Mm-hmm. But it feels more like… How do you describe it? I know you mean kind of like, almost that aloe consistency. Yeah. But it doesn't absorb into the skin as quick. No, it absorbs kind of super quickly. Joan, I know that? you like to be different. Wait, what? I know you like to be different. No. <laughs> but it feels like more like a mask. I wouldn't use this like during the day. It feels like a sleeping mask. Gucci. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like that feeling before I go to sleep. Yeah. Like, how, like it feels like there's actually something on your face. Applying a thick layer. Kind of like you're locking in whatever you just did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. So you can mm. follow up with this cream after a cream if you want that mm-hmm. extra moisture. Yeah. Um, I actually sometimes use a sleeping mask mm-hmm. during the daytime. So unlike the nighttime where I apply a thicker layer, oh. I would apply a thin layer over my cream because oh. during certain uh, seasons, so for example, like autumn and winter time, that's when my skin feels super dry. I will follow up with a sleeping mask in the daytime. Mm. I'll go around like that. I okay. just moisturize my entire arms. <laughs> yes, my <laughs> arm feels so moisturized. Wow. I want to live that life. <laughs> All right. So what cream did you guys, do you guys want to use today? So we have… What are the options? Gel cream or the ceramidin cream. Ceramidin. I think that would be really good for dry skin. I think okay. you might really like this. Can I'll I get the gel? Too. Thank you. Okay. So I'm choosing the gel cream because I feel like my skin is super hydrated and moisturized after all those products. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go with like a little lightweight Mm -hmm. but most uh, moisturizing cream. Mm. Yeah. I love this cream. I'm using the Chica one because doing beauty YouTube, Mm -hmm. we've done like treatments like lasers and things. And the one laser I've been doing, they said it helps improve the skin but also makes your skin more sensitive. So my skin has oh. been a lot more sensitive lately. So I have like that redness around my chin oh, and stuff. Really? So I'm using the chic one to help oh. repair that. All right. Sensitive. I'm using the ceramidin cream because my skin is as always super dry. dry. Mm. You know, Great, why, huh? Why not? Oh. <laughs> what was going oh. on? It feels so good. And finally, you want to follow up with SPF. And the product that we're going to be using is the Sika Pear Color Correcting Treatment. And this is TikTok famous. Yes. yes. I'm so That's excited to it. try this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't know about this product until TikTok. Oh, really? So there's a hashtag okay. on TikTok where TikTok made me buy it. And mm. this is one of the trending products. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you tried it yet? I haven't tried it. I wanted to keep the reaction as natural uh, as possible yay. for this uh, podcast. Yeah. So H- have you? I've never even heard about it until just now. <sighs> you guys are missing out. I'm an Ajishina, Ready so I don't to go get on TikTok. shocked. <laughs> One of the tips I did see on TikTok is you take a little bit of product and you warm it between your fingers mm. on your hands first, mm-hmm. and then apply it to your face. Right. So you don't actually need a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit will you know. <laughs> she's so excited <laughs> a little goes a long way mm. so like she said you want to mm. get a little bit um i would say oh my gosh i don't know how to do skincare measurements how, what pea would size? you pea size mm. yes here we go a and, teaspoon, <laughs> teaspoon. <laughs> like cooking. a little less than teaspoon i would say but you want to rub it between your fingers. Uh, first. And then you want to just kind of like stamp it on. This is a little too much. But then you could mm. just like blend with the other fingers. fingers. And then… So you guys all saw that my skin was looking red. But then it's going to neutralize. Color correct. Moisturize. And you're yeah, applying no. SPF all, all in one step. Like I think I this feel. is magic in a jar. Do you see that? Ooh. This is my gym routine actually. Because it comes mm. out… The, the actual product is green. Yeah. When you first take it out of the container. Mm-hmm. And then as you warm it up… It actually adjusts to your skin tone. Right. It's such a cool <gasps> product. Love Holy it, right? guacamole. It literally looks like guacamole too. <laughs> like the greenness. Oh my god. Skincare with coverage. I want I love more. That. It's so good. I love it. I feel like that one bottle will last you forever. Yeah. So I actually am still Luciana. using the sample that I received from Dr. Mm-hmm. Jart. Mm-hmm. So good. You just want to… This is add. such a great alternative to wearing foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you just want something light. Mm-hmm. The little bit of coverage for your daily outings. Right. I was When I was in Jeju, I only used this. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. because… Your skin looks so good. I saw your photos. Thanks, girl. I was like, yeah. Because um, I just didn't want to wear makeup. Like, yeah. Especially on vacation. vacation. right? It's like, damn. I don't I mean, want to. I have no time for that. Right. Should be out exploring. On True. days where I needed it, I would wear it. But usually I would just wear this. For people that aren't aware, mm-hmm. even if you're not going out, should you still wear SPF? Yes. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because the windows in your home mm-hmm. will 
still… Bring in that sunlight, the UV rays on your computer screen, your phone screen. It's all bad for your um, your skin. And also, UV rays can penetrate through clouds. At one point, I thought you're not… Even if it's a cloudy day, mm-hmm. I thought, oh, I don't, you know. Yeah. But it's still just as bad. Even when it snows because mm-hmm. the snow will reflect, reflect yeah. the sun. So even during the winter, even though it looks like there's no sun… I think, a lot, you know, I think a lot of people associate heat with UV rays as well. So they uh-huh. think, oh, in the winter, I don't really have to wear as much. No. Every day. That's why Every you have day. to wear sunscreen when you go skiing. Yeah. Mm. Because you get you, I heard, sunburn. Yeah, I heard you can get sunburn. Yeah. From, <laughs> that's crazy to me. Uh-uh. <sighs> wear that sunscreen, everyone. It was actually a funny story. There was mm-hmm. a um, question on my physics final. Mm-hmm. They're like, why do you get sunburn when skiing? And everybody mm-hmm. was like, because you're high up in the mountain close oh. to the sun. <laughs> Wrong. It's because no, the snow reflects the sun. Ooh, we just helped every listener who is taking physics right now. If that question if pops up, think, question. remember the beauty bar, okay? Yes. <laughs> Please. I'm pretty shocked. It got out all the redness mm. on my skin. Oh, your skin looks mm. so good right now. We really treated our skin. Oh, honey, we sure did. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. <laughs> but um, some some of you guys might not have the time to do all these steps. So mm. let's break it down yep. for our listeners who might want to use less products instead of seven or ten. What are the pillars of the skincare? Pillars. I would say for the first one, it would have to be a cleanser. Yep, gotta cleanse your face thoroughly. Well, Very true. Number two. Toner. Definitely. It's the base of I feel like your Eddie routine. really drilled that into my brain today. Yeah, toner. <laughs> He's like toner. No, if, if you have no time for anything, toner and SPF. Oh my gosh, really? Not even wash, just toner. Of course, after I'm thinking oh, after. Okay. <laughs> for me, I, the the routine for me starts at like toning, but obviously yeah, cleansing. Yeah. But yeah. toners like the ceramide one that we use today, mm-hmm. it's not just your regular toner. It has that mm-hmm. serum and mm-hmm. ample in it as well. Mm-hmm. So love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then what what would you say would be the after next? toner, mm-hmm. moisturizing. Yes. Yeah. Especially for our dry, dehydrated yeah. skin. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. For the pump. crew. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, we've stressed this enough on our podcast. SPF, right? SPF, yep. Super important. Which I definitely learned after coming to Korea. That yeah. you should wear SPF. <laughs> Same. Right. I feel like in America, they don't really push… In Western like media, they don't push it as much. Only when you're going to the beach. Yes. Right? Yeah. They exactly. have that like sports, large yeah. yellow orange yeah. bottle. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of. With the palm trees, yeah, you know? No. They… <laughs> but in Korea, it's definitely a must-have thing. Yeah. I go to the beach in Korea and the moms have the cushion packed of sunscreens on their children. Yeah, they're, yeah. She, they're applying it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, wow. So different from the mm-hmm. States. Yeah. That's why they have a good skin for a long time. Yeah. And I'm already wrinkly. <laughs> no. Girl. <laughs> don't say that. Uh, we did introduce that there is this buzz around the 10 step skincare mm-hmm. routine. But we did about like 5 or 6 today. Mm-hmm. But on days where you're lazy, you should still do those 4 or even yeah. 2 that you mentioned. Like cleanse, toner… Like toner serums and mm-hmm. then apply your SPF. SPF. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Skincare can be tricky because there are just so many great products out in the market. But once you start playing with it, it mm-hmm. gets so exciting. And I get so excited to do my skincare in the morning and at nighttime. So I hope it's the same for you guys. Mm-hmm. And Hopefully. I hope all listeners or the people who are watching feel a little bit more prepared now yep. for this journey. And we hope we could be helpful for you guys today. Yes. If you guys haven't, go check out Eddie's YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Because he does occasionally talk about skincare. More makeup. But I do love it when you talk about skincare because you go off on skin. Like I I love that. Because for you and I, we don't have perfect skin. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we bonded too in the beginning. Because Mm -hmm. when we were starting our YouTube channel, we were surrounded by people with like such clear, nicely moisturized skin. And here we are with our acne being like, all right, we're trying to talk about skincare as well. But we've been very honest and transparent. Mm -hmm. And you guys will find really good tips on his channel. So… Yeah, I'm a makeup person. But I feel like the base of good foundation is always skincare. Yes. Oh, definitely. Because you can like fix things with makeup. But like if it's sitting on top of like… Dry, cracked skin, yeah. and like all that, then it won't look good. So. Right. Yeah, good canvas. Mm. Yes. Yeah, you gotta canvas. prep it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
we have some fan questions from our Discord. Does temperature affect the effect in the effectiveness of the skincare products? Do I really need to buy the skincare fridge? Ooh, you actually just mentioned how like a slight difference in temperature can be effective. So I was talking about the skin. Oh, I think okay. it's first to talk about the skincare itself. But you said you have the fridge. I don't have the fridge. Oh, you don't have the no, fridge. No, I don't. We all have oh. just regular fridges. Yeah. So we just stick it in the fridge. <laughs> mm. I put my sheet mask in the fridge. But yes. I don't, my other skincare, not really. I have vitamin C serums in mm. the fridge because I think. Some products are specific mm-hmm. in the instructions mm-hmm. saying, please keep room temperature. Uh, please keep this in the fridge. Mm-hmm. So other than that, um, you should like read the label and see if you need to keep it in the freezer or not. Yeah, if anything, yeah. just don't put it in a hot place. Yeah. yeah, Because yeah. that can definitely make the ingredients separate yeah. and mm-hmm. the product go bad. Right, right, right. So exactly. Don't put it in yeah. the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next question. I have a question though. Hashtag beauty bar dash discussion. Is that thing with rubbing ice on your face legit working? Is it actually good for the skin and all? Or I don't know, just a myth? Mm. So we talked about this in episode 11 with Abe because mm-hmm. he had bad acne growing up. So he would ice his face. Have mm-hmm. you ever done that before? I think I tried it once or twice, but I don't think it's not religious. Yeah, thing. but there are a lot of TikTok videos about people icing their face. Um, but there are also great products that you could, you know… Um, for Bound. cooling effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the Cairo rubber mask that we tried today yep. is actually great uh, because it lowers the temperature of your face mm-hmm. and it helps your face and your skin absorb the products better. Yep. So cooling your face actually has actually great benefits. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much to Dr. Jart thank for sponsoring you. this Dr. episode Jart. and treating our skin. I feel like I look so much more moisturized. You look moist. You all do. <laughs> yeah, we're all moist girls <laughs> here. It's good. I really like it. Yeah, and if you guys want to know where to get your hands on any of these products, they're sold in store at Sephora on their website, us.drjart.com. They're also on social media at Dr. Jart on Instagram and at drjart.us on TikTok. And thank you, Eddie, for being the guest on our final season one finale yeah. episode yeah yes. thank you so much it was so thank fun to you. have yeah. you here yes. it was really so great much fun. It's such an honor. Uh, please so let our listeners know where we can find you. YouTube, just Edward Avila and on Instagram, Ed Weirdo with a zero. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. I had so much fun. Uh, and thank you to Dr. Jart. If you wish to stay updated on this show, Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episodes on youtube.com slash divepods. And also please join us on Patreon at patreon.com the dive studios for exclusive content and ad-free listening from the Dive Studios Network. Yes. Once again, follow and review this podcast. And thank you, Dr. Jarda. Yes. And, and thank you everybody for listening, watching, and see you in season two. See yeah. you there. Thank you again for a wonderful season one. We feel like this show is only just warming up. And there's so much to talk about, right? Um, But we'll save it for the upcoming season. So in the meantime, you could check out our previous episodes. We're also uploading our episodes on YouTube. So if you want to see our faces, you can see us there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you so much. And good luck with your skincare routine. And yeah, be nice to yourself. Be nice to your face. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you. See you. You like that? You like that? You want some of that? You want some of that? (laughs) If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And please turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss an episode. Nope.